Boom shakalaka. What's up, guys? My name is Russell, and in this episode, we're going to be going over the Trezor One hardware wallet. I'm going to unbox this beautiful hardware wallet for the first time ever and show you how to get started. Stay tuned. Okay, so admittedly, I have actually never used a Trezor wallet before. I am a big fan of the Ledger series wallets made by Ledger. Um, but the nice people over at Trezor sent one of these over to us and I decided I'm going to make a unboxing video to show you all about this beautiful hardware wallet and see how it works and how it stacks up against the Ledger, which I have been using for a while. So I have some experience with that. So uh, the first thing that I would say is if you get your hands on one of these, um, you can go over to their, their website over here um trezor.io and you can pick up one of these just by clicking the shop button there um, and they have a bunch of different options this is the trezor model one this one right here in black they also have the trezor model t which is a little bit more advanced but um, certainly you can start with this one it's about 72 dollars or 69 euros um so yeah go ahead and grab one of these also they have some great uh seed phrase management devices like the crypto tag and crypto steel and stuff like that. So um, go ahead and grab one of these. Um, the first thing that you want to do when you get any hardware wallet is to just make sure that you look at the packaging, make sure that it's all sealed. And Trezor does a really good job. They have some holograms on here um, that if you actually look at them, they say Trezor on them. So just make sure that you have them, that this hasn't been opened if it has. Uh, send it back to them or just buy a new one because that's really important. You don't want to uh, use a used ledger, one that's been tampered with because that's your money. So yeah. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we'll see what's inside. This is like glued shut. Ta -da. All right, so that's what's inside. Also some paperwork and stickers. So here's the device. It's actually pretty small. A little uh, connection cable. I will say this too. This is um, considerably smaller than the Ledger. So um, you'll have to be closer to a, a laptop um, or your whatever you're connecting this to. And again, you get a little lanyard, which I'm not sure why they even include these, but if you want to carry it around your neck or something, there's a lanyard and some cool stickers. I think they did a good job with the stickers. If you're from Philadelphia, you'll recognize that. So the first thing that we need to do, actually, if you look at the back of the box that I've now torn up like crazy, uh, it says to get started, go to treasure.io slash start. So when you do that, you're going to end up here on this page and it will say congratulations on your new Trezor. And then you can download the desktop app. They also have a Trezor suite for web. Uh, I personally like just dealing with the desktop app uh, and it's available for Mac OS, Linux and so forth. And you can store all your crypto on there. So let's get started. Let's try to get this thing set up and see how that goes. All right, so this is the desktop app. The first thing that I, I presume we're gonna need to do is plug this bad boy into the computer. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, <clears throat> this is going to be considerably more difficult to record considering that the cable is so short. But we'll do our best. All right, so the first thing it says is Anonymous data collection. All data is anonymous. No, I don't want you to collect my data. Thank you, though. Appreciate that. Security check. My hologram was intact and untampered with. Yes, it was. I bought from official store. Yes. Um, package wasn't tampered with. No, it was, in fact, glued shut. So, yes. All right. Install firmware. Your Trezor is shipped without any firmware. Your device is ready to receive the latest full-featured firmware in order to be used safely. If you're a super Bitcoin fan, feel free to install Bitcoin only firmware. So if you only use Bitcoin, you can do just that, but I like altcoins too. 
Looks like it's just completing. Disconnect your Trezor and hold any buttons while connecting the cable. Okay. Disconnected. The other thing that I'm not a big fan of, and this is just my personal preference, I really like USB-C and this is like a micro USB. So if that's a, a big thing for you. Oh, it says do not hold any buttons. Great, I just held a button. All right, plugged in. Well, for whatever reason, the Trezor wanted me to plug directly into my computer instead of through the sort of USB um, device that I have there. So got that all sorted out. And now I'm at this screen here, which is create a new wallet or restore one from backup. We have not created a wallet before, so we're going to create a new wallet. And it says wallet backup, uh, choose how to backup your Trezor. This process will also create a standard wallet for you. Um, so we're gonna do a seed phrase backup. I don't, I don't see any other options. So we're gonna do that and I confirm Trezor. All right, so I can't show you now because it's plugged into my computer, but it says on the Trezor, do you really wanna create a new wallet? Um, by continuing, you agree to the terms of service. So on the Trezor, there's just two buttons. There's a left button and a right button, and it says above them what you're doing. So the left one right now says cancel. The other one says confirm. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm. It says updating, um, needs backup. Your wallet is almost ready, create a backup. Your Trezor will generate a list of words. So this is your seed phrase. Uh, if you watched the last video or you've been in crypto for some time and used a hardware wallet, you would know what this is. Basically, it's a 24 word phrase that's uh, going to generate all of your private keys and your public key. Um, and you're gonna put it on this sheet of paper here just to save it. It's extremely important that you save this. Um, and I would suggest doing it on something a little bit more solid than a sheet of paper, but to start, you can do it on this and then transfer it later and obviously destroy this because if somebody does find your seed phrase, they basically have access to your money. So we're gonna get started and go through this process. And yeah, it says check your backup in device settings before sending money to the wallet, never take a photo or make a digital copy of the backup, keep your backup secured and never share it with anyone. So like I said, don't share this with anyone. Don't save it on your computer. Don't take a picture of it. Only have it in physical form. And you may even want to have two separate or multiple copies of this and put it in different places in case one gets destroyed or lost or whatever. Um, please confirm you understand by clicking on them. We understand all those. And let's begin the backup. Confirm on Trezor. So on the device, it says... Write down the seed phrase. Oh, we got to do it on here. Okay, so I'm going to go through this and uh, you'll see when I'm done. Okay, so I wrote down the phrase. I am now ready to probably, if it's anything like the ledger, it's going to ask me to confirm, but I guess not. It says backup successful. So now we're going to create a pin for the device and we're going to set the pin and confirm on the treasure. It says... Do you really want to con to set a new pin? Yes, I do. Confirm. Now, what's interesting is, I don't know if you can see this. Maybe I can do it this way. So on the device, it's going to show a bunch of numbers. And you have to click on here corresponding to those numbers. So I'm going to just choose the simplest uh, possible password or pin, which is one, two, three, four. One, two two, three, four. Because these numbers are gonna be different order every time that you do this. And we're gonna repeat it. One, two, three, four. They have changed on the device, on the Trezor. All right, there we go, pin set. Now, select cryptocurrencies to show in Trezor Suite. So let's do Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin, why not? Complete setup. Setup complete. Ta-da! Now we're all done. You can add a name to it if you want as well, or I guess change the home screen, but we're gonna just go access suite and select wallet type. No passphrase or hidden wallet passphrase. Uh, let's just do no passphrase. And here we go. So this is the suite 
Uh, obviously, there's no cryptocurrency on it yet. Um, but if you were you want to, I mean, to be honest, that was way faster than the ledger, um, which I would say is a nice perk of this. Um, the ledger takes at least about a half hour to um, actually set up, and that was pretty quick. So, um, if you, when you're ready to receive, it'll show you your address for Bitcoin or whatever other cryptocurrency you want. Let's just take a look through here because I've never seen this before. So. Um, here's all the accounts on the left. You have Dogecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. And you can send, receive, or trade. Sell, exchange. It looks pretty nice, pretty clean. So that's it. That's as simple as it is. If you want to receive some crypto in any of these, you can see the full address. Um, and you have QR codes as well, which is pretty nice. So... There you go. Um, that's how you get set up. You would just send wallet your money to this wallet address to add money to this Trezor device. And that's it. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.